Hi guys, Dave Wilson here. And also the blackbird that lives in my garden. <laughs> well today I'm going to look at this Swiss made emery paper. Looks to be really good quality. But you know, I think it's often overlooked is emery paper. And it's one of the most useful tools in your workshop. So today I'm going to show you how to make some bus sticks, some tricks, techniques and I will also explain to you what all these funny numbers mean on the back. So, follow me. Emery papers are sheets of strong paper with one side coated with emery particles which are glued to the surface. Now, emery is a very hard rock and it's named after the place where it is discovered near Greece. And emery rock is mostly made up of corundum which is naturally occurring aluminium oxide crystals. Now you might know from school that corundum is hardness 9 so it's almost as tough as diamond which is 10 and what this means is that you can use emery paper on almost anything hard such as metal, glass, ceramics, stones etc and emery paper is usually black in colour. The numbers refer to the different grit sizes now there are two different numbering systems one that uses numbers and one that uses a P followed by a number and they're not exactly a scientific match but they're almost identical enough for our purposes so let's say if you bought a 40 grit emery paper from one store and then you bought a P40 from another store they will pretty much be the same to our eyes it's slightly the reverse of what you think though the numbering system the smaller numbers are for the papers with the bigger grit and the coarser surface and more aggressive cutting so these would be 12, 20, 30, 40, 50 but these tend to be a bit coarse for jewellery uh, these are more for industrial uses for jewellery we tend to use finer grades that are up in the hundreds so here for example the roughest one I've got here is a 150 grit uh, and you can feel the texture on it and you can actually see the particles of grit and this is great for cleaning up rough work, castings, smoothing, shaping metal and for removing deep scratches this is quite rough, the 150, and this will remove a lot of material. Uh, moving on, we've got 240, which is finer, and then the 500 grit, which is finer still. These mid hundreds are used to smooth surfaces and to get a pre-polish. Now, as a tip here, if you can get the surface of your silver or gold up to, say, a 600 grit, then that is usually enough to then go to a buffing wheel with Tripoli and Rouge. So, usually in the workshop, you only need three or four grades, a coarse, a couple of mediums, and then a fine, final finishing one. Beyond 1000 grit, the papers get very smooth. You can see here, I've got a 1200 and this is a 2000 and at this grade you can't see the grit anymore and the paper actually feels very smooth to the touch so these will give you a very nice smooth shiny finish and if you wish you can even go right up to a 6000 grit which is very fine I like to use these big sheets uh, flat on the bench to sand rings just make sure there's nothing underneath and the bench is clean lay it flat and I like to go through a couple of grits to get a nice smooth finish on the edge before polishing it. Uh, I also sometimes use a thin strip and use it to polish round bars. You can also use a split mandrel in your flexi shaft or your dremel for the inside of rings. Just remember to wind it forwards when you're wrapping it around the mandrel. You can also make buff sticks just wrap a sheet of emery paper nice and tightly around a small stick and then just wrap some tapes around each end. You might find it helps to crease the paper first to get nice crisp square edges. Alternatively, if you use a piece of round dowel, these are great for the inside of rings. And a top tip here, right on the end of your stick, the grit, or you can even colour code them, when the paper gets worn down, all you do is just tear a layer off and continue. 
And I can tell you that these Swiss papers I've been using are exceptional quality. They've got a nice uniform grit. It's well bonded to the paper and they don't seem to shed lots of particles. They cut well and they give a nice smooth finish. So I hope you found this useful and a little bit insightful. I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye for now.